So here's something I've just kind of been messing about with and you can see I've got all the game gears in parts strewn across my floor here and what I've been doing is testing out a few things with the, the screen and this is maybe going to be a proper mod, it might not it's just kind of like a proof of concept at the moment I suppose but what I've done is I've taken that old uh, Nintendo DS top screen that I took from the, the console I refurbished the other day I stripped it apart and took the backlight section out and I've just kind of temporarily rigged it up to the, the Game Gear here I'll just quickly try and show you this but it's just sitting behind there, it's really really bright and uh, the camera's probably going to spaz out from it so you can see it sitting there and it runs off four LEDs so it's way 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 more uh, efficient than the the tube, the kind of fluorescent tube that usually sits behind the, the uh, Game Gear it sits in this kind of mirror thing here and shines up through the, the screen so that's sitting behind the, the screen at the moment so the plan is to try and use that as a replacement backlight um, and somehow get it installed into the, the Game Gear here so it might not improve the quality of the picture I'm just trying to show you this, I'm just adjust my camera slightly here just change the white balance. So it might not improve the overall picture quality, but what it will do is um, hopefully make the battery life uh, a lot longer for the, the Game Gear, because uh, obviously it will be a lot more energy efficient than the, the tube here. So uh, The other thing it should do as well is have a, a lot nicer um, kind of diffused uh, effect across the whole screen as opposed to the the mirror and fluorescent tube one as well so I don't know if you can see that too well on the camera but it does look a bit brighter and the backlight is um, slightly more let me turn this light off slightly more kind of diffused and even across the, the whole screen and I can adjust the brightness here as well it's just gone to the there we go so I can adjust the screen as well, if you can get an idea. But yeah, just a kind of proof of concept at the moment. I might turn it into a proper replacement mod for the, the system or not, I don't know yet. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick video on that and show you what I'm kind of messing about with at the moment. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon. So just to try and give you an idea of how thin that backlight module is, that's it there, removed from the uh, the Game Gear and you can see it's super super thin very very bright so it shouldn't be any problem at all to, to mount that inside the, the Game Gear itself um, the only thing I'll need to, to work out is how to power it from um, the Game Gear's internal circuitry, it runs off 12 volts um, I'm guessing each of the, the four LEDs is three volts, so um, yeah, it needs a, it needs a, a 12 volt power supply. Um, I'm just kind of rigged it up to this power jack here, but yeah, it'd be really nice to get that installed inside the the Game Gear, and then maybe do an internal battery mod or or something like that to try and get the the most out of the system for uh, I suppose battery life and. Um, energy efficiency so yeah there you go